Hi, my name's Alex Copeland and I work with Richard Fairburn and the Online Success Model team. And welcome to this course, Rapid Ad to Profit. Now the goal of this course is to really make it simple for you on how to use Facebook ads and Facebook tracking. Right now it might seem complex, but by the end of this video series, we're going to have taken a look at lots of different types of funnels and how to correctly set up your Facebook pixel tracking. And more importantly, this isn't just theory. We'll be giving you some real life practical examples so that you can look at the different types of funnels and where you should add your code. Don't worry about it because we're going to show you step by step exactly how to do every part of it. But first, let's talk about mindset because it's pretty important, especially when it comes to Facebook ads or paid ads of any sort. Now, in order to succeed at Facebook ads in particular, you must be willing to train your pixel. This means that you're not expecting to make tons of profit out of the gate. Training your pixel basically means you get traffic to your website. This is where your pixel is located and then Facebook is able to figure out what traffic is coming to your site and of course what current traffic is buying your product. By using your pixel and warming it up, it can work out what's considered a lead. And then in the future, you can create a lookalike audience within Facebook. And then Facebook will go out, look into its database of all of its different customers, and it will be able to figure out exactly who you should be targeting and who is most likely to become your next best customer. Because this is paid advertising, you will be spending some money to gather this data. This is so that Facebook can figure out the right buyer. But it is important, like I say, with the mindset to be aware that you may not make money right out of the gate. You need to set your Facebook ads up correctly, but that doesn't mean you'll get great results straight away. In fact, it's usually far from the truth. So now that's out of the way and we have our mindset in a more realistic place, let's have a quick overview of what's inside this whole course. First of all, you've got the intro that you're watching right now. Video number two is all about the business manager, how to set it up before you start doing any ads. Now you need to set up your business manager because it centralizes everything. It accesses all your pages, as your ad accounts, your pixels, all the good stuff. So we have to make sure that's set up. You can also use your business manager to give access to different people. So if you expand enough to need a Facebook ad person, for example, you can give them access to run your ads. In video number three, we're going to talk about the actual Facebook pixel and how you go about creating them. And then in video number four, we talk about what's called standard events. Standard events are what allow you and Facebook to figure out who's coming to your website and what they're doing. Are they just a visitor? Are they buying something? Are they filling out a form? Whatever it is you want to track. It allows you to figure this out so you know what people are doing in your funnel and whether your funnel is ultimately working or not. Video number five will talk about email opt-ins, funnel events. We'll look at a typical email opt-in funnel, or you might know them as a lead magnet funnel, where you send people to a page and you ask for the email and the name. They fill it out, they get sent to another page. That's your basic email opt-in funnel. We'll give you a real live example and we're going to use click funnels and walk you through step by step. We'll show you where to place the pixel code, how to go about creating the pixel code you need, and so on. In video number six, we'll cover a funnel that caters to people who have abandoned your shopping cart. You can get back the people that have wanted something from your store, added product to the cart, but then for some reason not actually bought. Video number seven goes a bit further still, and we'll show you how you can create custom audiences based on what they bought throughout your funnel. In video number eight, we'll show you how you can use this for lead forms as well. This way you can track people filling in your form and even booking appointments with you or your business coach. And then video number nine is all about how to test that you've set all this up properly, how to make sure your pixel is active and that you've got the right ones on the right pages. So what do we need to do to get started? Well, obviously you're going to need a Facebook ad account. You need to have a business manager account as well, but we'll talk about that in the next video. And you'll need a landing page builder or a website. And for our thing, we'll be using ClickFunnels, but you could use all sorts of things. Now the reason why we're going to use a page builder to show you is because they have things set up so you can pretty easily add your tracking codes. But don't worry if you're using something else, most things have a solution for it. You'll also need to have a business funnel, but again, don't worry if you don't have that right now because hopefully this course will give you some ideas on what you can do.